Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating. So let's move to the video. In this video, wait a minute. So in this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover unit one, and the lecture topic is uh, the study of insect and their importance in agriculture, as well as the history of entomology in India and uh, the position of insect in animal kingdom as well as the relationship with the members of arthropods poda is uh, what are we going to study so it was just one lecture so let's move to the lecture videos so first i am going to give a short intro about entomology so the entomology is said to be derived from a greek word uh, so the two greek words are etamon plus logos so etamon means insects as well as logos means discard discourse so uh, entomology is said to be a branch of zoology which only deals with insects so it's what we must need to know about the entomology so while seeing what is entomology it is said to be a biological science which is dealing dealing only with a specific group of organisms which is known as insects so or else we can able to name it as the study of insects or else uh, we can able to name the entomology as the science which deals with insects uh, like insect morphology physiology ecology and uh, so on it's what's going to we are going to see uh, so after knowing that uh, we must need to know about the history of insect as well as their classification so man was originated around 2 million years ago but the insect were said to be known that they were formed at least around 5 million years ago so the insect used to constitute around the largest class of whole living organism about 72 percentage of living organisms in around the world is insect so up to now there are around 15 lakh species were said to be characterized and placed in the taxonomy classification so that insects are said to be omniparent and each crop we cultivate is being attacked by at least at least dozens of insect species known as pests so Inver insects which are only invertebrates can fly and they are also used to have six legs so insect used to have six legs so it's how the classification we have seen we must need to know around the species of insect so I can give the lecture notes in our description so don't worry about it so after that the the classification we are can be able to see what are the importance of insects uh, so it was mainly known as the pest of cultivated crops, trees, ornamental plants, stored food products, household items, and which um, causes the damage and also causes huge loss for the human. So they used it to be a pest for man, birds, and as well as animals in the world. <coughs> they are said to be a vector of diseases of human beings as well as animals. Example, malaria by mosquitoes uh, like Anopheles mosquito as well as filler. Filariasis by QLX mosquito, dengue by ADS mosquitoes, as well as for houseflies used to cause dysenteries and cholera in human beings. And but they do not only have disadvantages, but they also give the some of the beneficials like the food productive insects like honeybee, which gives us honey as well as the silkworm, which gives silk as well as lac insect and a cochineal insect, which is mainly grown for its dye, and some of the beneficial insects. So they can be termed as the beneficial known as pollinators, biocontrol agents, weed killers in our fields, etc. And the insect which has also act as our food in many human beings like termites and larvae are also used as a food in many places. And scavenger which is a dung roll and fly maggots which is used to clean the environment. Uh, so but i am going to tell you about what is agriculture and entomology and we are going to see the whole one in this process so the agriculture and entomology which is the study of insect directly and or indirectly related to agriculture and allied sector is known as agriculture and entomology so the insect is considered as one of the major constraints in increasing the agriculture productivity is said to be a known factor we must need to know so after we have known some of the information we must need to know about the history of entomology in india so the earliest known about insects dates are which is back to be 6000 years the indian ancestors were versed in the art of rearing silk worms and uh, silk even during 3870 bc 
an Indian king used to give silk and material to the Persian king as a gift. And uh, in our mythological epics like Ramayana and Mahabharata, the insects were said to be known in the myths, as well as they also used to mention about the silk honey lag, which is found in the epics during those days. And they used to classify the bees by Indian physician Chak, uh, Charakara. So here's the first one to classify the bees, as well as the first detailed classification of in insects was given by Umaswati an Indian poet which is during the 0 to 100 AD as well as the classification of ant flies and mosquitoes were given by Sergian uh, Shushuta which is during the 100 and 200 AD so after coming that we are going to see about the modern history of entomology in India which is mainly done during 18th and 19th century so in 1758, which is known as the modern era for Indian entomology, where the 10th edition of Carla's Linear Systema Naturae is said to be a base for the modern era of Indian entomology. So they contain the earliest, like around 28 species of Indian insect in his book. So and in 1728 to 1779, um, J.G. Coyne, which is a medical officer from Denmark, a student of Carlos Linnaeus and a friend of Fabricus who in 18th, 18th century he collected number of insects from Coromandel area and southern peninsular India and his collections were studied and named by Professor Linnaeus himself. So the medical officer from Trakunbar mission and later official naturalist to Nawab of Arkot as was his resource as well as he published a special account of the termites in the Tanjavur district which was done by J.K. Coyne. So after that, J.K. Coin, we are going to see about his friend J.C. Fabricus, who is um, he used to have a time from 1745 to 1785, the first entomologist who made an extensive study of ins Indian insects. So he is said to be known as a Danish professor of political science, who himself turned into systematist as well as classified insects into 13 orders based on their mouth parts. So the Fabricus made Coining's name remembered forever by the name well known and destructive red cotton bug of the country as Didesker, Didercus Coin for his work he used to give the title for the destructive red, co bug, red cotton bug so after that um, after those done by the scientists in 1782 Dr. Kerr who published the account of lac insects as well as in 1785 uh, the Asiatic Society of Bengal started in Calcutta and in 1791 Dr. J. Anderson who issued a monograph on cochineal scale index as well as in 1799 Dr. Horsfield an American doctor as well as the first keeper of the East Mu Indian Museum published his famous book which is known as a catalog of lepidotern insect in the museum of the Honorable East India Company which contains two volumes which is released during 1857 as well as one another one during 1858-59 and after that in 18, 1800 or uh, 1800 the Bachman, a traveler who studied the natural wealth of India wrote the cultivation of lac in, in India and on sericulture in some parts of India so after that the Edward Donovan who published an epitome of the natural history of insect of India and the islands in the Indian seas which was first pictorial documentation of insects of Asia and was revised in 1842 by Westwood and in 1875 he used it for the foundation of Indian Museum at Calcutta is said to be known and in 1883 Bombay Nature Natural History Society was started after the foundation of the two organizations Scientific studies received greater attention in India. Numerous contributions of Indian insects were published in the Journal of Bombay Natural History. And in 1888, uh, he, there is a commencement of Fawn of British Indus India series under the editors of W.T. Bander Lord, who is the governor during that time, as well as in 1842, the entomological part of Fawn of British series started with Sir George Hampson contributed his first four volumes of about the moths present in the India as well as in 1893 Rothney who published an Indian ants which is um, the earliest record of biological pest control in India white ant attacks 
on stationary items was kept free by the red ants where he used to describe that during his published book uh, on indian ants as well as in 1889 to 1903 so in indian museum calcutta published the indian museum notes in five volumes which is said to be more contributed on economic entomology and applied entomology in india and in 1898 which is the last record of the 18th 19th century so the introduction of cochinary which is the scientific name cryptolamum monetarius from australia into india against coffee green scales which it where they used caucus viridus but they were failed to control the scales in that time so after that these are this 19th century is the most major progress and expansion of in the field of applied entomology during the process after that in developments in 20th century was first made in 1901 by Lionel D. Nisivel who is to known as the first entomologist to the government of India and after that 1903 Professor Maxwell Lafrasi succeeded Nisivel as the government entomologist and after that the 1905 established the Imperial Agricultural Research Institute at Pusa, Bihar and uh, Professor Lafrasi became the first Imperial entomologist and later he shifted to New Delhi in 1936 and named as Indian Agriculture Research Scientist. These are the developments in 20th century. So the first Imperial uh, Agriculture Research Institute, Pusa, Bihar, which is now transformed as ICR and situated in New Delhi due to the earthquake reasons in Bihar. So after that, the, uh, the scientist who convinced a series of entomological meetings on Indian basis to bring together all the entomologists of the country and in 1955 five such meetings were held in the Imperial Agriculture Research Institute at Pusa while the proceedings of the first meeting was not published and the proceedings of subsequent four meetings become a treasure of entomological knowledge and another contribution of Fetcher in, in the, is the publication series under the catalogue of Indian insects which marked another era in the history of Indian insect taxonomy so after that in 1906 uh, a major in known as book Indian Insect Pest by Professor Leprese was reduced and in 1909 he used it to reduce the same book another book which is an Indian Insect Life which is also done by Professor Leprese and in 1912 the Pro Plant Quarantine Act was enforced in India as well as in 1914 the destructive insects and pest attack was enforced in India so after that in 1914 T.B. Fletcher the first government entomologist of Madras state published his book some South Indian insects in 1914. So in 1994, they used to form an Indian forestry of insect of economic importance, where the Coriopter, which is first to in published by first imperial forest entomologist E.V. Steppings, as well as in 1916, the Forest Research Institute was established at Dehradun, and E.B. Stepping was appointed as forest zoologist. And in uh, 1916, the Natural Zoological Survey History section of Indian Museum and uh, Zoological Survey of India was said to be formed in this time and uh, in 1921 where the Indian Central Cotton Committee to investigate on pistons cotton was said to be established in 1925 Indian Lack Research Institute started. So these are the pictures of Indian Museum Calcutta as well as the Zoological Survey of India in Cal Calcutta. So after those years in 1934 Hemsing Prithi who was the succeeder of Fletch as an imperial scientist who made efforts to bring entomological worker closer and use it to create the foundation during the period of 1938 for the Entomological Society of India as well as uh, Asfal Hussain he, he, in the same year of 1934 he used it to form known as the first president of Entomological Society of India as well as the vice president or Hem Singh Prithi and Ramakrishna Iyer so they used to made an official publication of the society Indian Journal of Entomology. So nine, in 1939 they used to cause a locust warning organization was established in these places. And in 1940, Dr. T. V. Ramakrishna here who used to publish the handbook of economic entomology for Sa South India as well as he is yet to be known as the father of Indian ta insect taxonomy in India. So after that in 1946. So the Directory of Plant Production, Quarantine and Storage uh, where the Government of India was started which is GYE is equal to Government of India 
was started at New Delhi and in 1968 the government of India enacted uh, Central Pesticide Insecticide Act which came into force from 1st January 1971 so after that so these are all the years we must need to remember for our examination as well as in other useful publications by Indian authors were in 1941 uh, CFC Beeson the ecology and control of forest insects of India and neighboring countries and, and in 1960 the desert locust of India which is a monography done by Y.R. Rao and 1963 textbook of agriculture and entomology by H.S. Pruthi and in 1968 Dr. M.S. Mani who used it to create a general entomology and in 1969 so Dr. S. Pradhaban insect of crop in 1969 uh, the monography on Indian Tyson opera was published by Ananda Krish Krishnan during this period so after those years in 1975 uh, Dr. B. Vasantaraj David and T. Kumaraswamy who used to form, created and published the book of Elements of Economic Entomology and in nine, and at the same year 1975 M. R. G. K. Nair who used to release the book on Insects and Mites of Crop in India in 1976 K. K. Nair, T. N. Ananda Krishnan and B. Vasantaraj David who used to create the book for general and applied entomology so after that in 1983 Dr. S. Pradhaban who used it to create agricultural entomology and pest control the book was published by Dr. S. Pradhaban so after that I am going to give some of the foreign book reference for us so in 1976 where Dr. J. D. J. Borer and D. M. DeLong and C. A. Triplets Horn who used to publish the book An Introduction to the Study of Insects in 1977 O. W. Richard and R. G. Davids who used to form the general textbook of entomology in 1984 R. F. Chapman the insects the structure and functions were of insects uh, was published and in 1988 W. S. Promoser who used to publish the science of entomology so it was just a good so learning is the true imperishable rich and all other no, things are not riches which is the quote we must need to remember so always try to learn more and more so I have given some of the fill ups um, for your studies so I have given this PPT in the lecture notes in the description so these are the fill ups you can able to check among yourselves for the marks So, I have given a small classification of the position of insects in animal kingdom and the relationship with the arthropods. It's what I have given in this po point, as well as the characteristics of pylum arthropoda, where they use it to form a segmented body and the segmented group into two or three regions, which is known as tagma and said to be known as tagmosis. They use it to have renewal chite chitinous exoskeleton which is their outer skin body they use it to grow by molting and they were used to have a bilateral symmetry of body and their body cavity filled with blood uh, which is known as hemocyle which is white in color so some of the other characteristics of them family are they used to have a tubular alimentary canon with the mouth and anus to anterior and posterior they used to have a dorsal heart with a valve like ostia they used to have a dorsal brain with a ventral nerve cord they used to have a straightened muscle with a lark and dark and white light bands which is used for their flight and there is no cilia where the hair like vibrant structure is not present on their cells or in the skin they used to have bad and segmented appendages so in the pylum orthopoda they are classified into seven classes so i have give, listed out the seven classes in them so and the insects which comes in hexapoda which is uh, differently classified into insecta so the seven pylum we are going to see uh, onychopora which is a claw bearing organism as well as crustacea which is a shell bearing as well as Arachinda, which is spider, uh, Araki spider, you can able to remember for this, and Chylopoda, which is a lip appendage organism, and Diplopoda, which have two appendages, example like millipede, 
and uh, trilobite beta which is an extinct group so we don't bother about that and then hexapods which is a six leg organism where they um, are otherwise known as insecta so which is used to have internal cuts example insects so i have given the pictures of onchopora where the periplantus is here and crustaceous the shell like organisms so it was the structure of the crustacean animal how it must be done and uh, arachnidae example spider as well as scorpion spider tick might also comes under these groups so you can able to remember that i have given the anatomy pictures of the spider in this video as well as the chilopoda which is a centipede where uh, they used to have lip like appendages in their body and diplopoda which used to have two appendages example millipedes so trilobite an extinct group i have already told you so after that the final one where the other chapters are fully depend upon the hexapod which is also known as insecta where they used to have six legs so six leg organisms are said to be known as mainly insects so the invert insects are invertebrates which is grouped in the phylum arthropoda as well as the subphylum mandula mandulata we must need to remember so it was the general body of an insect so after the classification we have seen the arthropoda they used to have some of the same classifications in the phylum arthropoda so the characteristics particularly for this phylum is uh, insecta so they used to have segmented body and also head bear and antenna they used to have three segmented bo body with two pairs of wings and a three pairs of legs the abdomen has 11 segment where the eighth and uh, tenth segment be a genital and egg laying organs so and the body is mainly covered with exoskeleton which is mainly grown by all the insects are commonly grown by molting process and the tracheal system respiration system is tracheal system as well as they use it to have open circulatory system with the dorsal heart so the heart name is ostia and they use it to have a dorsal brain with the ventral nerve cord in the body so i have given the relationship of insect with the other arthropods so you can able to see the classification among them so these are the 12 characteristics we must need to remember for the seven no six species were the extinct we can able to avoid the six extinct species one in them so so while studying we can able to conduct a virtue in which we uh, have used to free from these four things which is malice desire anger and a bitter speech so that we can able to concentrate on words so i have given the lecture notes in description so if you feel like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video thank you i will catch up in next videos